Once upon a time, in a country far away, there was a farmer who had a donkey. This donkey worked very, very hard, hauling all kinds of heavy bags on his back. He worked and worked for many years for the farmer. And as it happened, the donkey grew older, and the farmer looked at him one day and thought, mm, you're not worth keeping. I had better just get rid of you, sell you, give you away, whatever. You're not worth it. The donkey got wind of this, and he decided that he would run away and start a life of his own. Maybe he would set up a band or a singing group in the town of Bremen. He would go there on his own and set it up. So he thought about it, he quit, said goodbye to the farmer, and started on his journey. As he left, he trotted down the road with his ears flapping in the breeze, and he noticed a dog, a very old dog lying on the side of the road. The dog was panting with his tongue hanging out of his mouth, all out of breath. The donkey stopped and asked, what's wrong? And the dog said, oh, my owner is mad at me. I'm lousy and I'm not good at hurting sheep anymore, he said. I'm too old and I'm no good. He wants to throw me out. The old dog was bitter and was very disappointed as he laid in the road. Come with me, said the donkey. I'm going to Bremen to start up a musical band. We can go together. The dog was so excited that his tail started wagging and he jumped up and started following. They went along, and on their way to Bremen, they noticed a cat lying on the side of the road. The cat looked very sad. They stopped and asked the cat, what happened? The cat cried and said, my owner kicked me out because I can't chase mice anymore. I'm too old, I'm too fat, and I can't run and they're yelling at me because there's lots of mice in the house. So they threw me out. And the donkey and the dog said, well, come with us. We're going to Bremen. The three of us can go and set up a band. And the cat said, okay, fine. So the cat and the dog and the donkey set off on the road down to Bremen. They saw a fence a little while down the road with the rooster sitting on it. And the rooster looked very sad, sitting all alone. And they asked the rooster, what's the matter? And the rooster said, the farmer has kicked me out. He stole me on the road. He says that every morning I crow in the same fashion until he's become so tired of it and my voice has gotten so very, very low of my age that finally, after all this crowing for so many years, he's decided to put me out. And the three asked, why don't you join us? And we'll be a group of four, four musicians in Bremen. The rooster agreed and was very excited. So he got on top of the donkey's back, and the four of them ventured down the road. As they got closer and closer to Bremen, it got very dark, and they decided to rest for the evening. The donkey and the dog lay down under a big tree. The cat didn't want to stay on the ground, so he decided to climb up on the tree and sit on a branch. The rooster was too scared to stay on the ground, so he climbed to the very top of the tree and slept on the branch. Everyone went to sleep, but the rooster looked out over the land. Far away, he saw a small light flickering, so he called to the cat and said, Hey, it looks like there's a house over there. The cat became excited and woke up the dog, and the dog said, Hey, there's a house over there. The dog told the donkey, the rooster pointed in the direction of Bremen to the small house with the light. 
and the four animals took off walking towards the house. As they got closer and closer to the light, the light got bigger and brighter. They could see the light through the window. The four of them thought, what should we do? Since the donkey was the biggest, he decided to peer into the window to see what was going on. They approached the window and the donkey looked in and saw that there was a great deal of food on the table. It looked like a feast and they were all hungry. But when the donkey looked in the window again, he saw a group of bad men who looked like robbers. They were counting money and eating all the food. The donkey explained this to the group. There are bad men in there. What should we do? They devised a plan. They decided everyone would climb on the donkey's back, the dog on the donkey, the cat on the dog, and the rooster all the way on top of the cat. When they were ready, the donkey would kick the window in and cause total chaos and would scare the robbers. That was their plan. When everyone was ready in position, the donkey kicked the window in and they all flew in and the dog was barking and the cat was meowing and the rooster was crowing. It was so loud, the robbers were terrified and they ran out as fast as they could. The robbers were terrified as they looked back in the house. The four animals were in the house and they sat down at the table to a huge feast. They ate and ate until they fell asleep and turned off the light. The robbers stood outside looking at the house. Oh, your chicken, said one to the other. Oh, you were scared. When the boss of all the robbers looked around and ordered one man to go back and see what was going on in the house. They talked about the possibility of perhaps there was ghosts. But there's no such thing as ghosts, they said. So the man went into the house and opened the door. He walked into the house, but it was pitch black. So he lit a match, and upon lighting the match, he saw the light of the cat's eyes. He thought perhaps it was the coals burning in the dark. He wanted to poke at the fire to bring more light into the room, but instead he poked the cat. The cat sprang up at the robber's face and spit and scratched him on the nose. As the robber was fleeing and running to get to the door, the dog bit him in the leg. The robber hopped around on one foot and tried to run away and... The donkey kicked him with his hind leg as hard as he could. The robber fell and the rooster screeched cock-a-doodle-doo as loudly as he could. The robber ran back to the group of men, terrified, his heart pounding, and said there was a witch in the house. A witch, they said? Yes, a very mean witch with very long fingernails. Really? And she scratched me on the nose. And then, behind the door, there was a man with a knife, and he stabbed me in the leg. Really, it was the dog who had bit the man, but he thought it was a person stabbing him. And then there was a huge person who banged me on the head, and I fell to the ground. It was something so big, so very big, the group looked, and he continued. And worse, there's a judge on the roof screaming, bring the bad man to me, bring the bad man to me. Well, the men were petrified. They took off and decided to leave the house, never to go back. The animals had the house to themselves. They liked it there, so much so, they decided to settle down and they lived happily ever after. ¶¶